Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP Stream 14. The exact model is the AX113, but this should help you with any of the 14 series computers. I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your RAM. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now at first glance, you don't see any screws but you do see these rubber runners or rubber feet here. These are held down by either double-sided tape or glue. So you can peel them off, but it is thin rubber, so you can also break them and tear them. So be very careful. Use either a small flat pry tool or a small flat, very small uh, flathead screwdriver. But you're going to peel that up on one corner. Again, be careful of breaking it, but peel these up from the bottom case. After you get them up, you can see there's four screws under each of them. We're going to remove all eight screws. After you have all those screws up, we're going to flip the computer over and we're going to go around this seam. If you can see on your computer here, the palm rest sits inside the bottom case up here. So you're going to take your small flat pry tool and put it inside this seam and start prying up this palm rest from the bottom case. Now it was kind of tight when I did it. Um, you may need to go nice and slow, nice and firm, uh, but you can get it up. If you get stuck in an area, just leave it, go to the other side, and work your way the other way around. Also, be careful not to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some components. Keep it right on the edge. But once you get that palm rest off, this is what you're looking at for the bottom case. As a quick side note, before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery first. Uh, it makes the computer safer to work on. In this battery, you can't really unplug it without removing it. So you have to remove the entire battery. I'll show you how to do that now. Now the battery is held on by these four screws and then it plugs in right here. You may need to actually pick this connector up in order to unplug the battery from it. It's kind of an awkward uh, plug in there. Uh, so you may need to pick that up to unplug it. Be careful about these wires. Don't pull on them. You could damage them. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, uh, we can proceed deeper into the computer. This is your single RAM slot right here. Many of you will have a four gigabyte stick in here stock when you buy the computer. I believe this computer's max RAM capacity is eight gigabytes. So if you want to upgrade this, you can go to a single eight gigabyte stick. Uh, the way RAM works, guys, there's a spring loaded metal arm on either side of the RAM. The way to get the RAM out is you gently pry them apart from each other away from the RAM stick. The RAM stick will then release. Oftentimes it will pop up a little bit and then you can slide it out. To get the RAM back in the port, as you can see, there's a long port and a short port. So you can only insert that RAM one way, the correct way. After getting it in there, make sure it's nice and flush and even. And then you just press down in the center right here and those metal arms will snap onto it and secure it in place. Now, as I mentioned, this computer has a max RAM of eight gigabytes. You're looking for DDR4 RAM at 2400 megahertz. So I will have a link above, also below in the description. It'll include all the tools and supplies that I use to work on this computer, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts like your battery and your RAM and the other components in this computer. So I'll try to include a four gigabyte stick in that list in case you guys are just replacing a bad one and you don't really want to upgrade. But if you want to upgrade, I'll try to include a couple options for compatible eight gigabyte RAM sticks that you can put in there. So that's how you would access your RAM in this computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.